Welcome back to Infigan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting question from rational equations. 2x plus 3 over 6x plus 8 whole cube plus 9x plus 12 over 4x plus 6 whole cube equal to 7 over 2. And we'll be solving for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing. Our denominators cannot be 0. So x can't be negative 8 over 6, which is negative 4 over 3. And x can't be negative 6 over 4 which is negative 3 over 2. Now I can see from denominator it is 2 common. And here in the numerator I will take 3 common. So I can write 2x plus 3 over 2 common out in the bracket 3x plus 4. And then we will put power 3 plus I will take 3 common from the numerator itself 3x plus 4 will be in the bracket over 2 is common so 2 times 2x plus 3 then we have power 3 RHS is 7 over 2 now from denominator 2 this 2 I will take out so it will come out as 8. 2 power 3 is 8. And this 3 will come out as 27. 3 cube is 27. So I can write 2x plus 3 over 3x plus 4 whole cube. And here I will be writing 1 over 8 plus 3 cube is 27 over 8 in the bracket I will write 3x plus 4 over 2x plus 3 whole cube equal to 7 over 2. Now we will multiply both sides by 8. So let's multiply term by term 8 here, 8 here and 8 will be in the RHS. Now we can cancel 8 with 8, 8 with 8 and 8 with 2. So it will be 4. RHS will be 7 times 4, 28. Now LHS I will write 2x plus 3 over 3x plus 4 whole cube plus 27 times 3x plus 4 over 2x plus 3 whole cube. Now I will use substitution. If I will consider this bracket only equal to y, then here I will write 1 over y. So our equation will become y cube plus 27 over y cube equal to 28. Let me write here y cube plus 27 can we write 3 cube over y cube equal to 28. Now I will assume our substitution y plus 3 over y equal to suppose t. Now I can use one algebraic identity a plus b whole cube. So I will write y plus 3 over y whole cube. This will be equal to a cube so y cube plus b cube so 3 cube over y cube plus 3 times ab. So 3 times y times 3 over y in the bracket y plus 3 over y. Now y and y will be over. And here we are going to write 28. And LHS this is t so t cube. So I can write equation t cube equal to 28 plus 3 times 3 is 9 
times t. This was t. So we will get one cubic equation t cube minus 90 minus 28 equal to 0. So we have to solve this cubic equation. Let me write here t cube minus 90 minus 28 equal to 0. I will use rational root theorem. So I need to know the eligible factors of 28. We can consider plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 7, plus minus 14, plus minus 28. Leading coefficient is 1. So we will write only plus and minus 1 as a factors. Now we have to consider the ratio of constant to leading coefficient or factors. So in the series if I will plug in over there t equal to 1. Will it satisfy? 1 cube is 1. Minus 9 times 1 is 9. Minus 28. No. It won't. t equal to 2. Again no. t equal to 4. 4 cube is 64. Minus 9 times 4 36. Minus 28. Yes, this is true because minus 64 plus 64 will be 0. So t equal to 4 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. I need to write the coefficients of cubic equation. So coefficient of t cube is 1. Coefficient of t square it is missing so 0. Coefficient of t is negative 9 and constant is minus 28. Now leading coefficient I will write as it is. Now we will multiply base solution to this number. So 4 will be multiplied with 1. It will be 4. Now we have to add these two. We will get 4. Again the same practice. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. 4 times 7 is 28. Addition will be 0. Here we have coefficients for quadratic equation. So we will get t square plus 40 plus 7 equal to 0. Now I will only check the discriminant value here. As per formula, it is b square minus 4ac. Here b is 4. So I will write 4 square which is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 7. So 4 times 7, 28. This value is coming out negative 12. Discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So I can reject this quadratic for our real solutions. So t equal to 4 will be the accepted one. Let me write here t equal to 4. Now t was our substitution. It was y plus 3 over y equal to 4. Now I will multiply both sides by y. This side also. Now y times y, y square plus y will be cancelled out only 3 equal to 4y. Now I can write y square minus 4y plus 3 equal to 0. Now I will solve this quadratic using factorization method. Can I split minus 4 as minus 1 minus 3? And then we have plus 3 equal to 0. Now y is common. I can write in the bracket y minus 1. Negative 3 is common. In the bracket y minus 1 equal to 0. So y minus 1 is overall common. In other bracket we will get y minus 3 equal to 0. So from here I can write y minus 1 equal to 0. y minus 3 equal to 0. So y equal to 1 from here and y equal to 3 from this equation. Now y was also our substitution. Let me write here y equal to 1 
y equal to 3. Now this was our y only we have to divide our denominator by 2. So let me write here y was 2x plus 3 over 3x plus 4. This was our substitution y. So I will write here 2x plus 3 over 3x plus 4 equal to 1. Now we will cross multiply. So 2x plus 3 will be equal to 3x plus 4. Now I will take 2x to the RHS and 4 to the LHS. So I can write minus 4 plus 3 equal to 3x minus 2x. So minus 1 will be equal to x. So our first real solution x equal to negative 1. Now we will be solving y equal to 3. So I will write y equal to 3. y was 2x plus 3 over 3x plus 4 equal to 3. Now I will cross multiply 2x plus 3 will be equal to 3 times 3x plus 4. So we can write 2x plus 3 equal to 9x plus 12. Now we will take this 2x to the RHS and 12 to the LHS. So I can write 9x minus 2x the RHS term equal to 3 minus 12. So this will give us 7x and RHS will be negative 9. Let's divide both sides by 7. So we will get our second real solution negative 9 over 7. So we have two solutions negative 1 and negative 9 over 7. Let me write here x equal to negative 1 and negative 9 over 7. This brings the end of the video. Do not forget friends like share and subscribe. Till next video bye bye and take care of yourself.